I was giving a class the other day on boundaries, so I figured I would share with you some of the information I provided um, <clears throat> during that class. One of the questions that sometimes I get when I'm on a podcast interview or even talking to clients um, in a session is um, how do I create boundaries? How do I enforce boundaries? How do I even come up with, how do I know my boundaries? And one of the things that I say is you have to do an audit, uh, a value audit to find your core values. Let's just say your core values or um, what what means a lot to you. So um, does integrity mean a lot to you? Does um, honesty mean a lot to you? And so you have to do an audit to your value system. So if honesty means a lot to you, then one of your core values is honesty. If, um, uh, let's just say, uh, timeliness and promptness is a value to you, you like to be places on time, then that's a value of yours. And so you take these values and you apply them to your boundaries. So I have a boundary where if somebody's late, that doesn't sit well with me and I let them know. I have a boundary where if somebody doesn't isn't honest with me, I left to know. That's a boundary that I, I don't like to negotiate. I don't like to compromise. So do a value audit, find your core values, values, tra- um, put those into your boundaries, and then those are your personal boundaries. Now keep in mind, boundaries are to keep, to change your behavior. So basically, um, and boundaries are like religion. You know, you don't, you don't put your religion onto other people. Your religion is to change your behavior. So your boundaries are your expectations for your life. They are for you. But if somebody wants to step into your sacred circle, then they have to respect your boundaries or there's consequences. Those consequences are, you know, just reminding them nicely to sitting down, having a conversation with them, wiping them out of your life, you name it. But those are some starts on how to have good boundaries. So do a uh, value audit, find your core values, and uh, there you have your boundaries.